of speech therapy, we might think of a child who needs a little extra help pronouncing certain sounds or letters, but it is so much more than that. Believe it or not, food and feeding are directly linked to speech. Joining us now is Kim Heyman, a speech therapist with Children's Specialized Hospital in Ann Arbor Township. So how is feeding related to our speech? Well, speech and feeding pull from the same anatomy. If you have weak muscles in your face, you're going to have trouble eating. If you have a lack of coordination in those muscles, then you're going to have trouble eating safely. So what types of services do you provide and how do you diagnose these children? So we look at children from birth until 21 and the issues change as the age changes. We have babies come in who are, who are having trouble latching. We have older infants coming in who are having trouble transitioning to solid foods. And we have older children who have very strict preferences, very picky eaters, to a point where it's influencing their health. That's incredible. I didn't really realize that speech therapists do all of that. And um, so what are some of the therapies you offer? How, what are some of the treatment options? Sometimes it's just about changing how we're feeding the child. Sometimes it's about exercises and, and improving strength and coordination. Sometimes it's about exposing them to non-preferred foods, foods they don't like, and practicing and building those you behaviors back up. credit for doing that. That's probably, that's probably not so easy to no, do. No, it's not. But God bless you. <laughs> you have a degree in that, so that's great. Um, so where can people find out more information if their child has experienced any, any of these issues? Children's-specialized.org. All right, that's great. Kim Heyman of Children's Specialized Hospital in Ann Harbor Township, and you are living well with Robin Stoloff on today's Light Rock 96.9 WFPG.